The Minister of Works, Ibrahim bin Hassan al Hawaj, inspected a number of infrastructure development projects in the Northern Governorate's 12th constituency. The Minister was updated on the progress of the projects included in the third package for the development of roads, sewage systems, and municipalities. The visit included a review of the projects listed under the third package and the two recently completed projects in Demistan. He affirmed that the ministry is committed to implementing infrastructure development projects and enhancing public services in line with the government's action plan 2023-2026. For his part, the Northern Governor Ali Abdul Hussein Al Asfour emphasized the importance of completing the sewage networks in the governorate in coordination with the Ministry of Works and Recycling Treated Sewage Water to support the green areas. He commended the role of the Ministry of Works in implementing the government's program, particularly in sustainable infrastructure development, which contributes to improving the quality of services provided to the citizens. The Minister of Social Development, Osama bin Ahmed Khalaf al Asfour, headed Bahrain's delegation in the 43rd session of the Arab Council of Ministers of Social Affairs, which took place in Egypt. During his speech, Minister al Asfour emphasized the importance of increasing mutual cooperation and exchanging expertise to achieve social justice in Arab countries. He highlighted the Kingdom's commitment to monitoring the implementation of social plans and programs that support international efforts to protect the rights of persons with disabilities as well as issues related to childhood, family and the elderly. In addition to supporting the initiatives of the Arab Council of Ministers of Social Affairs and meeting the aspirations of member states for social and sustainable development. The Minister reaffirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain, through its 2030 economic vision, aims to achieve an integrated model of social services that cater to the care, development, rehabilitation and protection of all eligible members of the Bahraini society by implementing initiatives aligned with the priorities and objectives of the government's program 2023-2026. The Minister of Tourism, Fatma bin Jafar al sayrafi opened the 2023 Autumn Fair at Exhibition World Bahrain in Sakhir, which included in its 34th edition over 557 exhibitors from 16 countries around the world. Minister al sayrafi stated that the Autumn Fair represents a shining landmark in Bahrain's exhibition's history, adding that the fair is taking place for the second year in a row in Exhibition World Bahrain, the Middle East's newest and largest exhibition and convention center. Asairafi expressed confidence in the success of the Autumn Fair, which contributes to instilling Bahrain's position as a preferred regional shopping destination with a magnificent footfall from GCC citizens and residents, thus supporting the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority's efforts to achieve the goals of the Tourism Strategy 2022-2026 in tourism product diversification. And the Minister of Tourism, Fatma Sayrafi, inaugurated the 34th edition of the Autumn Fair at Exhibition World Bahrain in the presence of the Chief Executive Officer of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, Dr. Nasser Al Qaidi, as well as ambassadors, diplomats, businessmen, and businesswomen from Bahrain and abroad. Organized by Informa Markets from December 21st until the 29th, the Autumn Fair 2023 attracts over 557 exhibitors from 16 countries around the world. Autumn Fair uh, plays a very important role in the, in the business uh, uh, sector of Bahrain because it has been one of those fairs people look up to. You know, an opportunity for people to buy goods uh, for value for money. So, you know, we have a lot of customers who comes every year to visit us. It's an opportunity for us to meet them also, and uh, it's a beautiful feeling. For the first time, this year's edition will introduce three new country pavilions, Morocco, Thailand and China. The highly anticipated annual retail fair is expected to attract more than 156,000 visitors from Gulf regional and international countries. This exhibition, one of the best exhibition in the GCC countries, actually, it yeah, combined a lot of companies and different uh, products in the same hall, in the same uh, uh, place, which gives the benefit to the, to the customer or consumer to, to, to get everything in one place. 
Spanning over 18,000 square meters, the most renowned consumer products fair in Bahrain will offer a retail extravaganza ranging from textiles and furnishings to electronic devices, electronics, clothing, cosmetics and decor, along with a variety of activities. Over the course of nine days, the Autumn Fair will offer multiple entertainment and hospitality options, with a myriad of food and beverages outlets and a playing area for kids, keeping abreast of the tastes and requirements of families and shoppers of all age. In the presence of several ministers and members of the Diplomatic Corps in Bahrain, the Adana Theatre held a Bahraini night on the occasion of the national celebrations and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. The event featured esteemed Bahraini artist Ahmed al jumeiri alongside a group of Bahraini artists who performed timeless Bahraini songs before a large audience. The Ministry of Health announced the provision of the latest vaccine from Pfizer, Pfizer XBB 1.5, developed against the coronavirus and its new variants in primary healthcare centers. The ministry called on those wishing to take the vaccine to go directly to the designated health centers starting today. The new vaccine is available for the age group of 12 years and above at the Bank of Bahrain and Kuwait Health Center in Hid, the Jit Hafs Health Center, the Sitra Health Center, the Yusuf Engineer Health Center and the Muhammad Jassim Kano Health Center from 7.30 in the morning until 7 in the evening. The ministry also stated that the vaccine will be available for the age group of 5 to 11 years at Halat Bumahar Health Center, Hamad Kano Health Center and Sheikh Jaber Health Center starting on December the 27th, 2023. The Public Director of Public Health at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Muhammad al Awadi stressed the keenness to continue providing protection against the coronavirus and its variants with the aim of preserving the health and safety of citizens and residents by providing immunity to the body through vaccinations. He noted the importance of receiving booster doses of vaccinations, calling on the public to visit the ministry's website to view the latest instructions and protocols for vaccination and booster doses. On the occasion of the Kingdom of Bahrain's celebration of its national holidays and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne and the accompanying national occasions, the Ministry of the Interior held a field parade which aims to strengthen community partnership and national belonging through the participation of citizens and residents in their celebrations of national occasions. Within this framework, the Ministry held a military parade in Muharraq to Governorate, attended by a large number of citizens and residents. The audience expressed admiration and appreciation for the high-quality performance, which reflects a high level of discipline and accuracy. The event is an additional step aimed at strengthening communication with all segments of society and community partnership as a key mechanism in the development and modernization strategy adopted by the Ministry. The Minister of Housing and Urban Development participated in the 40th session of the Council of Arab Ministers of Housing and Construction meeting held in Tripoli, Libya, in conjunction with the 5th Arab Ministerial Forum for Housing and Sustainable Urban Development, 
which focused on localizing sustainable development goals for reconstruction and disaster response. Bahrain's participation in the 40th session of the Council of Arab Ministers of Housing and Construction comes as part of its efforts to enhance joint Arab cooperation in the field of housing and construction. And to discuss the fourth item on the agenda titled Updates on the website of the Council of Arab Ministers of Housing and Construction, its data database and information designed to activate the Council's objectives. Bahrain's delegation praised the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development in Libya for organizing the session which led to decisions that aimed to strengthen the Arab relations in housing and sustainable development. The 11th edition of the Bahraini Farmers Market will open on Saturday at the Budaya Botanical Garden, bringing together Bahraini farmers, brands and craftsmen. The theme for this year is Champions of Local Products, which is a reflection of the pride in Bahraini farmers' dedication to providing sustainable, diverse and high-quality local produce. The Undersecretary for Agriculture and Marine Resources, Khaled Ahmed Hassan, affirmed the importance of the 11th Bahraini Farmers Market which will come with upgraded infrastructure and more sections creating an enjoyable experience for the visitors. He said Bahraini farmers market is important for supporting local products and enhancing food security. The Kingdom of Bahrain provides various projects and initiatives with the goal of preparing a generation capable of meeting the demands of the modern age and excelling in the technical realm. More details in this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain has earned global recognition for its remarkable achievements in the field of technology, reflecting its unwavering commitment to digital excellence as a key driver of sustainable development. One notable initiative is the visionary project spearheaded by His Majesty King Hamad for Future Schools and Digital Empowerment, a project that has had a positive impact on the development of the e-learning system and driven the scientific community forward, aligning with the country's comprehensive development goals. And under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the government has exerted significant efforts to support and enhance the skills of its national workforce in the field of information and communication technology through the implementation of various national initiatives aimed at accelerating innovation and adapting to the evolving demands of both the public and private sectors. Bahraini youth have also been given opportunities to shine on the global stage, thanks to the efforts of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work in Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, whose initiatives focused on developing the capabilities of Bahraini youth and enabling them to compete internationally, which is evident in the establishment of the Nasser AI Research and Development Center and his sponsorship of prestigious competitions such as the Huawei Middle East and Central Asia IC competition and the Khalid bin Hamad Innovation and Artificial Intelligence competition. Moreover, the Kingdom has provided training and development programs in the field of technology, including launching an Artificial Intelligence Academy at Bahrain Polytechnic, the first academy of its kind in the Gulf and the Middle East, launched in collaboration with the labor fund Temkin and Microsoft. With a robust infrastructure and a highly skilled workforce, Bahrain is well equipped to continue making significant strides in the digital domain, contributing to sustainable development and shaping a prosperous future. <laughs>